Welcome back to Canadians of Cafe Lease Bigger Podcast. This is episode 87. We're going to be doing the Chronicles Deception Season 19 preview. I'm Dr. Anton. This is DJ Spencer, and we're your hosts. Hello. Hello. <laughs> um, this is coming right off of our last double long episode um of the uh the new player guide so um this will be definitely a shorter episode which is uh gonna be nice and we figure we'll get it out now uh since the new season's just around the corner show you the preview um it, it's not a it's not a huge change uh this season um but you know we'll, we'll show you what, what's coming and uh getting ready here for uh season 19 but before we go uh too far please like, share, and subscribe. Leave us some comments below. We do appreciate it. Anything uh, is always gro- is always good. Yeah, uh, I like how you said it's going to be a short episode, but uh, many a times when you've said that before, <laughs> uh, it still reaches an hour plus. So. Th- this is true. Uh, so, um, what the flip are you doing, cat? Okay. No, that's not good. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're good. Okay, we're still going. Um, <laughs> ignore the cat stuff. All right. But uh, yeah. Um, yeah, so yeah, it's going to be shorter than our last one. We can guarantee that. <laughs> so um, unless you're looking at the two half of episodes, you know, where we, we released it in two parts, but whatever. Um, but yeah, we're just going to get right into it. We'll show you uh, we'll show you what's new here starting out. And DJ will um and there's also a question that was on the on the website we're going to go through and then dj will take us through the uh, battle pass so let's get that up here let's get the um yep i'm just trying to reload the uh the preview build again because it, uh, it crashed but no problem no problem always fun um yep. but yeah we're starting out with what's new in uh season 19. uh it's going to be called chronicles deception um if you uh, take a quick peek you can see behind us that's part of the uh this this wallpaper is is the new one that's going to be coming up for the season it's a very and you've, if you have seen the trailer by now um very like a sailor kind of theme has a lot of sailor influences to it which is awesome i actually kind of like it you know i'm not not that i'm into you know sails sailing or fishing or anything but i think it's kind of a cool look you know it's a neat aesthetic um, and then it's called Deception. It rise to the battle pass. Uh, take a bite out of the competition with the new Barracuda knife. So uh, this season, um, the new weapon is just a knife. Um, but it's a it's a cool knife. I, I kind of like it. Um, new premium pack, the Scarlet Reaver, has arrived. And fan favorite packs make their return with a twist. Um, we'll talk a bit more about that. If we know anything a little bit later um new daily and seasonal challenges added multiple bug fixes and performance improvements and xbox game pass ultimate perk heat wave havoc pack added so we're going to be getting a new game pass ultimate uh pack i don't know if there's been any mention of when that would come through to xbox uh ultimate no okay so at some point, because I think it took when they last announced uh, an Xbox Ultimate, I think it took like a month after they announced it. I think I could be wrong. Uh, yeah, but it's not necessarily because of the announcement type thing. Um, okay. It's just so it could be scheduled. sooner. Pre scheduled. Yeah. It will be this gotcha. season. Gotcha. That's all we know. Oh, yeah. I wasn't thinking it'd be, it wouldn't be the season. I just, I was just assuming it wasn't going to be at the beginning of the season. So. It might be because this is coming up Mar- May, uh, May 15th. Maybe we will we'll have to wait till um, uh, June to see it. it. It might be, I don't know if they release it on a month timeline or whatever, but we'll see. Um, but it's coming. So that's kind of cool. It'll be interesting to see what that is when it, when it comes out. Um, one, yeah. And uh, one thing that pointed to this being a uh, little bit, and they, they mentioned before, I think on their, on their streams, there's going to be a bit of a smaller, um update is uh on their frequently asked questions um how will the pc port affect the console version of of vigor and essentially it's saying that you know yes they're not 
um, taking away from the the console uh, development, but um, because there was a lot to coordinate, they did make this update a little bit smaller. Um, as you'll see, there's not as much being uh, that's changing um, gameplay wise. Uh, you know, there was a few bug fixes they mentioned. Um, and you know they're only giving out like there's going to be a new knife this season as we go through the battle pass um but that's you know there's not a it's not it's not a big season that's coming uh is essentially it yeah there's, um, there's not a lot of content this season and you know uh, yeah. again uh, it's because the pc uh port right. did take uh some resources and time although it yeah. was not completely done by the the team it was outsourced um so it was just the team finished it. Um, yeah. So yeah. So yeah, a lot of the work was yeah, obviously, like, as you mentioned, outsourced. But even when you outsource something, you still have to be involved with it. Um, you know, giving advice, um, giving guidance, um, seeing progress, that kind of thing. So it's going it, to, it does, it was, it's obviously going to have an impact, but not as yep. much of an impact as if they were trying to do it themselves. So, yep. so but from it, if here on in, uh, it should be uh better anyways yeah exactly but yeah so that's uh that's on their that's on their website under the faqs they have some stuff about the pc portion we just wanted to highlight this piece just so um you, you could just show that they're being up front saying hey it's going to be a little bit you know lesser of a season not as much content in it but you know they're at least keeping up with releasing a season every few months and and you know as they go so uh so yeah let's take a look at the battle pass i think okay so yeah um dj is going to take us through it so let's take a look at it here uh let's do that and we're doing this and this here we go uh so level and we one can't of... see the first thing <laughs> oh we can see it on the thing okay yeah <laughs> so level one of the battle pass uh is sea dog old salt um so this is one of the new nautical uh outfits uh, not bad for level one. Actually, very uh, nice. Yeah. Next, you have Looter's Belt Blanched. So you have a little backpack with, uh, you know, like there's little pouches in the back of it. Uh, catch of the day for the ADR, which is kind of neat. Uh, you can kind of see it there, right there, where there's like a fishing net and some uh, twine um, kind of holding. It reminds it. me a little of the scrim ones, or are they called scrims? Obviously, it's because it's a little different, but it's nice. Yeah. Uh, next, you have leather, uh, leather wrappings deck hand. Um, so this one's kind of like the other uh, wrappings, but uh, I don't think we have leather uh, wrappings for the hands. No, no, this is a, this is new, so it's a, a neat version. Yep. Yeah. Uh, then you have a Mark of the Sea face paints. Uh, so on the one side, you have uh, like a giant octopus, uh, and it kind of looks like it's holding something someone on like the far edge by by the ear and then if you go on the other side uh there's like the uh the wheel of the ship and the anchor uh with the like the octopus holding it again so uh, I yeah a little yeah they're a little hard to see but I, you can faintly see them so hopefully uh, people can see that yep uh you have uh, your first 20 xp booster at level five uh, level six, you have the tailored eye patch, battered brown. So, so a little bit eye different patch. eye patch now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you have a vagabond hat, mm. harbor scoundrel. Uh, it's kind of a neat hat, actually. Kind of like it. It's an interesting one. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it a seems like one of those ones you'd, you'd see an old coot kind of wearing. You know, like a crazy old coot, and okay. then he has like a weird hat. Yeah, that's what it that reminds me of. <laughs> uh. And then we have uh, some new uh, face wear. So oh, uh, seamless nice. pride, bleach uh, brown. Uh, so, you know, it's like a thick beard and it even has like braids at the front. Uh, Braiding, I like that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, we'll see if... Find Dwarven apply. Woman. Yeah, we'll, we'll see if... Uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll see if they apply it to like other areas, like, you know, the head and whatnot. Too. Okay, other areas, um, you say. <laughs> well... <laughs> This is yeah. a family friendly podcast. Talk. <laughs> I don't know. You're the one you're bringing up other areas. Okay. Well, the head. Uh, anyways, yeah. maybe the eyebrows. I don't know. Who knows. Uh, 
Um, anyways, uh, then we have Call of the Sea for uh, Lachiav. Um, That's a nice so one. I like the yeah, it's kind of like a nice green oceanish, uh, yeah, ocean color. Um, Ooh. then we have uh the title Deception One Calm Seas. Uh, this one's very plain on the first sign. It like you know, it's like it almost looks like a plain coin. It just has the anchor. Well, totally. Uh, That's what you would expect to see. You find at the bottom of an ocean or something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Then you get 25 crowns and a 5 XP booster. Uh, Next, uh, Topper Hat Salt Crested. So it it Hmm. looks a lot like a a top hat, but um, almost has like, you know, cowboy elements because like the edges are kind of like... I don't know if you'd want to call it its own type thing, but there's like a leather kind of wrapping around the edges. And then there's yeah, on just, the inside. It's just a flat top as opposed to like the, you know, caved in one that you get with like a fedora or a, or a, or a, a cowboy hat or whatever. Yeah. It's a flat hat. Uh, That's neat. Uh, deckhand doodles uh, for the KK62. So this one here has uh, basically like etchings um, or doodles um, that a deckhand would have made. So, uh, it's kind of neat. Um, it's hard to tell because, like, there's, uh, you know, obviously the resolution and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, uh, like, there's like some uh, the the wheels of the ship. Um, you know, there's some boats, uh, sailboats, uh, and whatnot on it. Um, Truthfully, it looks a little busy to me. I don't know. It's not. It's so far what I, of other ones we've seen. This one's not my favorite, but that's okay. okay. Uh, bag of hoarding, uh, passionate collector. Uh, so another backpack. Um, it's that's, not, that's like, a nice backpack. Yeah. yeah. There's some, uh, like we have some that are somewhat similar where there's like the, yep. the bedroll and like the canister type thing. Um, yeah. The anniversary bag is very similar. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's one I can think of, but it's of that style. Yeah. Uh, recoil protection Ooh. gloves, solid impact. Uh, so this one here uh, it kind of basically covers the trigger finger and the thumb. Uh, and the other well, side the just one... covers the palm and the back of the hand. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, next at level fifteen, uh, we have the Borders helmet, Midnight Raider. Uh, I kind of like this one. Um, I could see a lot of sweat uh, rocking it, but uh, definitely looks neat. Uh, like on the yeah. back, it's like it looks like netting but i think it's actually etched in um, yeah or patching anyways oh no it yeah, actually yeah, yeah. is netting oh oh, oh you're oh, right because yeah. it looks like it goes across yeah yeah um, a little bit and there's like a seal type thing on the one side or a badge uh on that side of the helmet but yeah i like the goggles and like the whole outfit type thing. yeah that's actually not bad i like that yeah uh then we have another five percent xp booster uh, we have runic gloves, a soothsayer. Uh, so okay. Basically, uh, some fingerless gloves uh, with um, some runic runes or runes on it. Yeah, uh, runes. Yeah. So both the hands have some. Uh, kind of neat. Uh, then we have the tailored eye patch, withered white. Another eye patch. Uh, we have moored for the Ooh. M14. Uh, kind of like it. Uh, it'd be kind of cool if you could actually put like a like a knife or a sword at the end of it type thing. Or right, spear, right. Fishing spear. Yeah, um, that would be next neat. We have yeah. uh, Southwester's hat. Keep uh, help green. Kind of neat. Yeah. Uh, then we have Deception Two, Gentle Breeze, uh, and then we have twenty five crowns at the free tier with another fifty at the premium tier, and we have uh, ten XP booster. Oh, I guess I should show um, back of the it. Actual title. If there's anything on the yeah. back? Yeah, I don't think this one has the next. Nothing I think on the, the back. next one yeah. start starts having. This one actually looks like a Canadian dime. Um, it does. I was thinking that too because of the sail so a sailboat and everything. Yeah. Yep. Uh, 21, we have the Boatman's Cap, Ocean Blue. Uh, so this one I kind of like. Yep. No, that's a nice cap. Yeah. Uh, then we have Call of the Sea again for the Gewehr 3. Ooh, for the Gewehr 3. Nice. Yeah. Uh, we have Grease Monkey Gloves, a Stainless Steel. Those are nice. I like those. Yeah, I like the details on them. Um, yeah, they go with, with a lot of different outfits. With the steel and stuff. Uh, we have Braided uh, Ginger. So this one uh, is another face wear. Um, 
with uh, smaller braids at the front. Uh, I'm trying to like get it on the screen too. But yeah, uh, so you can see the little sure. braids as yeah. turn to the side. Yeah. Oh, I see. Because yeah, your camera's a little bit in the way. Yeah. Uh, now we have a naval officer boatswain. Uh, so th this one's kind of cool. I like it. Uh, naval officer kind of dress um, outfit. So uh, kind of cool. A uh, little level twenty five. Uh, we have another 15% XP booster. We have the recoil protection gloves, horse kick. Uh, so again, same gloves, uh, except this time it's a different color. Mm -hmm. Yep. Nice. Um, Vagabond hat, port side ruffian. Um, so again, same hat, uh, just different color. Another we have eye patch. Eye patch ornamental. Ooh. That one's kind of fun and funky because uh, you actually yeah. have like a. Uh, like ornaments on the actual eye patch. Uh, we have deckhand doodles for the Rafika. Um, so it's like obviously not a whole lot of real estate, but uh, they they got some doodles in there. Yeah. Uh, Ooh, this next, is nice. Yeah. So now we have the Deception Three Surging Tide title. Um, this one here is two sided. Um, I do like it. Um, yeah, you can see through it as it's gapped. Yeah. So that's yeah. Uh, it's yeah, it's nice. Uh, then you have 50 crowns at the free tier and then 100 crowns on the premium tier as well as 15% XP booster. Uh, catch of the day for the Barry M12. Uh, I'm going to move you. Oh. There we go. Yeah, we're uh, good. We're good. Keep going. Cool uh, face <laughs> paints. Uh, so basically like uh, it's like some markings or you know oil slick or whatever uh, on the face. Um, runic gloves wave tamer, so again, uh, some gloves with some runes on them. Uh, next we have Southwester hat deep blue. Uh, then we have Ocean Drifter looter, kind of looks like a deckhand type, uh, yeah. But it's outfit. nice, uh, it's a, a nice yeah. outfit. I like that outfit. Uh, then you have a 15% XP booster at level 35. Uh, level 36, uh, you get the Barracuda plan. Uh, so it's much earlier than uh, the past seasons. Um, but again, it's just a, a knife. Um, so 36, uh, you're going to get the Barracuda plan. Uh, next, you have the Boatman's Cap uh, Smooth Black. So another iteration. This different color looter's belt weathered. I kind of like this one compared to the one at level two. Uh, then you have black fin for the barracuda, uh, which is a really cool. Uh, it really shows off the knife well too. Like yeah, a, it shows it's off a nice the knife. looking knife. Yeah, uh, you you can kind of see how it has like all the layers from the steel. Um, well, at least I can. I don't know about you. Uh, yeah, I can kind of. You can kind of make it out. Yeah, uh, it really looks good, uh, and you actually do get uh, a Barracuda knife as well at the on the free tier of this uh, battle pass. Uh, next, uh, you have Deception oh, that's Four nice. Thunderous Storm. Yeah, th this is my favorite title. Um, yeah, so you have like, I'm assuming it's the Al Albatross. Um, you had a yeah. It's either it's either that or seagull, but seagull, it looks like yeah. it doesn't look yeah. Um, There's a ring on its leg there, and a dime. Oh, rings legs. on both legs. Yeah, yeah. and a and a ruby or something in the in the in the paw and his claw. Yeah, it's really Talent. it's it's really cool. Yeah. Um, so then you have another fifty crowns at the free tier and a hundred on the premium tier, uh, and you have a twenty percent XP booster. Uh, next, you have the grease monkey gloves, polished brass. So again, same thing as uh, the stainless steel ones uh, earlier. Um, you have Siebel's Pride Salt and Pepper. So again, we have the, the beard uh, base wear from earlier, except a uh, different color, but again, with the braids. Uh, you have Call of the Sea for the Taiga 21. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's a nice color. It is. Um, I like that one. You have Topper Hat Motorist. Very cool hat again. Yeah, I like that hat. Uh, Fisherman, Whaler. 
another uh, skin, which kind of cool. I like it. No, it's a nice skin. Uh, 30% XP booster at uh, 45. Uh, ah. We have Moored for the Bugle F1. It's like you're trying to gloves. keep it together. <laughs> What's that? Oh, yeah. Like, okay, I got to hold this thing together. I got to put some rope, rope around it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, runic gloves, a wayfinder. So, another one. Uh, this time, uh, the runes are actually in red. Yeah. So, it's kind of cool. Um, actually, it's probably like uh, I was just thinking about this one here. Uh, it almost looks like a compass type thing on this hand. Oh, yeah. It's a little hard to see. So, on yeah. this. Yeah, a little bit, but yeah, it does look. Yeah, it could be. Uh, bag of hoarding, magpie. So we have uh, another variation of the hoarding bag. Uh, then we have a uh, fifty crowns at the free tier, level forty nine, and then we also have uh, the borders helmet deck lurker again. So I think I actually but, like yeah. the other one from earlier. Yeah, may yeah there. Yeah, I think maybe it's yeah. Yeah. I know it's hard for you to tell type thing, but a little uh, bit, but it's not too bad. Yeah. Yeah. Uh then level fifty at the free tier, you have the naval naval operative a shark a team one. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of like it, it the colors. Is that so is that like a is that supposed to be like a netting or something around like her shoulder and, and side or it almost is... looks like um yeah, maybe like a or a camel or, or seaweed thing. or camel. Yeah, like a, yeah. yeah, seaweed camo type thing. Um, yeah, not a hundred percent sure, but yeah, like on the shoulder and like the side. Yeah. Uh, then you have the Deception Five title, Unyielding Ocean, uh, and then this one here is like two sided. Has the Jolly Roger on the back or the skull and crossbones, whatever. Yeah. 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 That's nice. Uh, and then you have 250 crowns and uh, the three special issued crates. If you go back to the first one again, just uh, first here, we can get a better look at the uh, outfit, just with the original outfit. There we go, because uh, it was a bit blocked before. Now people can see it a bit better. There we go. Yeah, we go. no, that's, yeah, that's uh, I, I like I like the cosmetics for sure. It's, it has some nice yeah. cosmetics, I like the outfits. Um, yeah, and even some of the extras they gave, um, they did. It doesn't seem like they skimped. You know, they're 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 complete outfits. They're, they they seem like well thought out. And like every season, you know, you get a few ones that are similar to older ones, but a little different. So that's good too. Like the eye patches or or those kind of or some of the gloves, but they're all still a little bit unique. And I yeah. like that. No, it's yeah. it's a uh, actually a nice season. I really like the. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie like i i like the cosmetics but like i don't know how many people are actually going to buy the battle pass uh with the lack of like an actual weapon plan and whatnot type thing uh yeah I, i'm a little know, concerned a, that is always thing, more of a but, yeah um and then another thing to note too uh the viper v4 um knife that was in season 18 uh which the crafting plan was not in the battle pass last season um, right. It was supposed to be included in this battle pass, but again, was not in included. Um, oh. But you can actually get it in the general store. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be in the crate loot pool or not, but uh, we'll have to see. But it is no, just it, a melee weapon. Um, yeah. So it's like I know it was you know, temporarily in season 18 available in the crates because that's how I yeah. got it. Yeah, because <laughs> some people got it that way. Yeah, um, we'll we'll see, but anyway. Yep. Yeah. No, uh, that's uh. So yeah, that's a nice looking battle pass. Um, I guess some of the stats of the battle pass, like usual, it's six hundred and ninety crowns to purchase it. Yeah. Um, you earn seven hundred crowns by the end of it. One hundred thirty five percent total XP boosters, so that hasn't changed. The XP has gone up a bit though. Um, yeah. So okay. by the end. Yeah, by the end it was like five million one hundred ninety four thousand nine hundred XP to finish it, which is, I guess, a five point nine four percent increase. So yeah. that's unfortunate. That's a that's, yeah. I don't I don't, know, that seems like the wrong way to go. I don't know. Yeah, it w it was definitely a hot topic this season, um, and I would definitely recommend 
uh, you know, providing obviously constructive feedback uh, on various socials regarding like, you know, if you have any questions or concerns about the uh, the amount of XP, uh, especially the, the increase again, um, because I, I don't agree with it. Um, yeah. Uh, I've kind of made my feedback known. Uh, and like I've, what I did literally in the preview build was I literally bought every level one at a time to see exactly like I, I have the spreadsheet with all the data for each level, uh, you know, how you purchase it, because obviously as you go along, the levels cost more and more. Um, and it's like, if you wanted to buy like every level individually, you're looking at 4,625 crowns. Like, Whoa. <laughs> yeah. But like, you know, you can, you can do like, you know, a lot of people do the 25, they'll get to the yep. free level 25 and then they'll buy the battle pass with the 25 thing. But it's like, uh, again, like the the grind is getting a lot because this battle pass here, the first nine levels, there's no changes in the XP required, but then level 10 goes up like 1.02%. And then after that, um, like every level goes up of like between five and 6%, give or take. Right. Like, it is. Yeah. So it, it's like, every level is going to be like a grind to to keep going type thing um so again uh, like you know give constructive feedback uh you know be kind in the way you say like you don't agree with it exactly um, don't go into but... the dev streams and you know and start com like being being a jerk and and yelling well, and it, well not just that <laughs> like you know because like you you look at the twitter posts uh you look at reddit yeah. uh like every social like there yeah. there's like comments and stuff like that and it's like you know you don't want to get timed out you don't want to get banned just like just be kind there are there are proper ways of saying it uh, you know like myself it's like i yeah. i've voiced my concern a number of times in you know to the devs about it um so um we we just have to make our voices heard more type thing so absolutely no um for sure but uh, other than that though yeah, I still I still do like the uh, the battle pass uh, how it looks. I like the outfits and everything and and the weapons. So, no, it's that's looking good. Um, so you're going to show us now the uh, the barracuda knife. Yeah. Okay. Take it away. <laughs> uh, so we have the barracuda knife. So just here, let me move here. you back because you're in the way now. So I moved you around. There we go. So here we have the Barracuda Knife, uh, base damage 50, um, and the weight of 3. So uh, it actually does more damage than uh, the John. Um, if you actually look at it, it's 45 for the John base damage. Um, okay. So it, you know, I, I have hmm. not been able to actually test it yet. Um, we literally got the preview build uh, the other day. Um, so uh it, it's been kind of like a rush to like check out everything uh but nonetheless um it requires three parts to craft uh if you want to uh insta craft it um if uh, otherwise uh, you need a crafting table of eight uh and 7500 material and four hours uh to craft okay so. that's not too bad yeah uh well, when you compare it to the john is it the same about about the same you said um for crafting uh like, yeah the crafting, usually they are right yeah uh literally everything is a crafting uh the same uh except for the john is level seven crafting table okay there we go hold on i have to go there, to... there it is yeah 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 three parts yeah seventy five hundred four hours okay yep. yeah so literally cool. just the crafting table is one low level lower okay so. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's the uh that's the that's the Barracuda. It's a, a it's a cool looking knife. It looks mean, you know, it looks like a machete almost. Like a like a it's probably about as long as a machete, but it, it's obviously a fisherman's knife because it has the hook that they can use for descaling or whatever they use it for other tasks maybe. But it's 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 neat uh, neat knife. I like it. Yeah. It would be fun to swing out there, I bet. So, looking forward to yep. trying that out. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's the, uh, that's the knife. 
Um, as we also mentioned, coming out this uh, is uh, season is the Scarlet Reaver pack. Um, we'll show you the screenshot. It's been shown before, so we'll just show you. Um, oh, that's not it. That is it there. Uh, the screenshot of what the pack looks like um, with with the uh, that outfit. That's actually a really nice outfit. It has like it really looks like a piratey kind of style outfit. Yeah, yeah. It's a uh, kind of the theme, right? It's all like non yeah. type thing. So um you get it looks yeah, like you get it, the knife you get a few different uh rifles yeah i'm not 100 percent sure what comes in the pack because we don't know necessarily but uh, yeah you know you, you you're going to get the crowns uh like it's it's a big uh it's a big premium pack so you're probably getting 2000 crowns and whatnot um and it, it was also featured too uh in the uh trailer for the season which actually dropped uh yeah. today which is uh friday um may yeah 10th, 10th. So. may 10th when we're recording here yeah 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 so no but it, uh it's a nice pack uh, you know it's, it's going to be expensive it's usually the for canadian it's the 90 dollar pack yep. that comes with 2000 crowns and everything so um but you know i definitely like it i i think i like it better than the last season um season 18's pack that was 90 dollars yep. for sure yeah yes. And then uh, there was also mention of the fan favorite pa uh, packs are back. And so the uh, the picture they show us for that is here, you know, alluding to this one. Um, a few different suits here. Because um, one was uh, like in the back corner. Uh, that was like the uh, the one that had the version with the fluorescent paint, isn't it? Or am I thinking yeah. of a different, a different yeah. outfit? It is? Okay. Yeah, the one on uh, the right. Yeah. As I'm looking at yeah. it. <laughs> yeah and then uh i don't i don't i don't know um her her outfit i'm not sure what one that one's from the one on the left uh i don't recall yeah and then the one in the middle was from uh not uh season 17 right right yeah yeah so, uh, those, those are all coming back uh they're going to be there, there's going to be as i said tweaks to them uh, which I I, I don't know 100% uh, what's going to happen, uh, but what's happened in the past is typically like the premium packs are a reduced cost, uh, and uh, you may be able to purchase them individual or purchase items individually. I'm not 100% sure. Right, and it's usually in the $38 mark, I think Canadian somewhere in there. Yeah, and you get like 200 crowns with it. Yeah, okay. Yeah closer to 40 and you get 200 crowns and then the weapons and, and, and stuff that they throw in there. So yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's usually like a toned down version of what the premium one was, but it's still, uh, you, if you like those outfits and you, you didn't get it the first time around, you'd be able to get it this way. Yeah, for sure. Yep. Um, yep. and then let's see here. There was also some new daily challenges added. Um, you had found a couple, right? Uh, new daily and seasonal challenges added. So uh, the the only seasonal challenges I've seen, because um, I've re-rolled a few, um, there's obviously Craft 15 Barracudas, which is the new melee weapon. Um, and then one I haven't seen yet, uh, but it's U60 Elimination Boosters, which to, to me, it's pretty wild that, you know, you're, you're having to yeah. buy 60 booster tickets. Um, like to i've said it before like i don't think it's right that there are challenges that require you to one in the past was buy like boost a lobby with crowns and then now it's like booster tickets i don't i don't think that's fair i don't think it's right yeah. because now you're you're requiring someone to actually pay now to complete a challenge and i i, I yeah. don't think it's right um, yeah, so and while you can re-roll them, it still costs crowns to re-roll too. So it's yeah, but at least it's not as many crowns. So you can definitely re-roll them. Yeah. And, well, like a yeah. seasonal challenge yeah. will be like fifteen crowns to re-roll. So that's a day yeah. and a half worth of crowns right there from your completed antenna. So right. um, I, again, I I don't think it, it's fair, but um, I guess that's what the devs or the designers decided on. Which yeah, you know, and like we'll again, see. Like, you know, if you don't like this feature, like, you know, provide constructive feedback on, like, how you don't 
agree with this because uh, yeah. I don't. And and again, oh. like myself and other partners have voiced uh, uh, kind of like our opinions about this. Uh, that is not right. But uh, anyways. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, also, we have um, well, there was some bug fixes. Uh, and again, we can show um, a couple of the other ones. But uh, the first ones are um, there were the maps, like the Anakin and, and battery maps that had issues with locked exits. Anakin's was that all the exits were locked, <laughs> no matter what. Um, yeah. And so that was supposed to be that there was always going to be one unlocked exit, correct? And it was going to be random? No. So they, no? they never, no. So apparently that was just a bug in general. Um, oh. Which was great because I literally made a whole video about that. And then they they go on like the season premiere dev stream and they're like, oh yeah, that's a bug. And it's like, oh, okay. So okay. Thanks for and letting us know. about it. Uh, but, uh, yeah. yeah. And, but one thing, uh, that is interesting about that is so the exits aren't locked, but the changes that they, the visual changes to each exit, which they made are still yeah. there. So beforehand, right. There's oh. no boats at like any of those exits and they've added like a sailboat and like a motorboat and whatnot. Uh, there, there's something at every, uh, exit, a motor yeah. vehicle or a boat, motor vehicle, a boat. Uh, anyways, yeah. those are still there. And if you look at the southeast exit, the countdown yeah. for the uh, uh, extraction area was like right at the edge of like um, like the ice shelf or whatever you want. Yeah, when you it. go to the ice shelf, it's like this. Like it, the, when you got to the big thing of ice, because there was like a little one, and you got to the big one. That's yeah. usually where the countdown started. So that's where the countdown started uh, originally. And yeah. Now it's like you have to go all the way out to basically where that boat is. Um, so that's still the same way as like how it was. So they literally just took away the locked exits, but all those visual changes to the maps are still there. So it's like they were planning for, for doing something with locked exits there. Cause why would you do that Yeah, for no reason? Right. So, okay. So maybe it's gotta be something they're still working on then. Yeah. Um, so Okay, I could, I could then we could see it in the future coming back, like within some way. Um, I think, and then the the battery one was like snow decked, um, wasn't supposed to yeah. have any locked, and then it had a whole bunch of locked exits. Yeah, it basically mimicked drug. So, um, yeah, but Anakin, I think you know, I think we speculated, and I think I saw other people speculate elsewhere that uh, maybe it was going to be a variable locked exit where it's like you didn't know which one was going to be locked going in type thing. Yeah, and um, maybe they're anyways. having trouble getting something like that going. It would, it would be cool if they could do something like that. Yep. I'd like to see a random locked exit. That'd be neat. Yep. Um, and then another one that was fixed is, I'll, you know, and I totally forgot we're going to be showing this. I'll go, I'll go right back to it here. Um, is the, uh, on Brodelen Bridges, they, uh, they had um, issues with a few houses. If you, if you knew, or maybe you didn't, it's hard to say. Um, they had some houses that were um, invisible from the inside. So if you went into them, you see could see right through them. They're transparent, but only if you're in them. Or if you're yeah. looking through a window. If you look through a window from the outside, you could see right through the house. Um, obviously, that wasn't supposed to be like that. Yeah. Um, and if you went in there, the walls were kind of still where they were supposed to be. So you could run through and up the stairs, even though you didn't know where anything was. But none mm -hmm. of the interaction was there. So they've uh, they fixed that. And uh, we can we can show that to you here. Um, so this is first the uh, upper house, the farmhouse that is at uh, by the gas station, you know, uh, yeah. on the uh, northern part of uh, Brooklyn. So yeah. house is normal again. Yay. Yeah. And there was three uh, houses. So that was the first one. Yep. Yeah. Um, um, I don't know if you I hope you turned off the audio because there's no point to it. But yeah i don't know if i did either so i guess we'll see if there's audio if there is uh, what, we one thing that's interesting um i noticed i think it was in that house when you're running up the stairs um there's like a bowl or something on one of the like dressers and as you like got closer then it rendered in so i thought that was kind of interesting oh, let's take a, and let's I, take a peek I, at I, that again i don't know if i'll just it was bring it up again not, but um anyways i i'm gonna have to report that anyways and let them know this is when you're running in here yeah i don't i think it was like in the kitchen area 
Hmm. Oh, maybe it wasn't right there. I don't know. That was upstairs. Was so, hmm. yeah. Anyways, um, the next one was in the middle of the map, um, just across from the uh, the the camp the campsite area with the long yellow house. There's that the red one that was close to the bridge. It had a you know the foundation before was missing and inside it was all invisible so here's that house and uh so far it looks fine and yep. uh going inside here in a moment there we go yeah and you could kind of see as like i'm running by um you know through the windows that you know you can't see through the house as well but yeah so that one now that, that one looks good Looks like there was a little bit of audio, but I cut it off at, in there, so hopefully it wasn't too disturbing. Um, and then the last house is the the southern house um, near the very bottom of the map. Um, it's right by what's that one called that has a name right oh, above I it? I don't remember. Okay. Uh, anyways, name, I think, but anyways. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> like Mave something or. Okay. Yeah. Anyways. But this is another one that was had. They're all the same type of house. And there's like one more house on this map that was the same style, but it didn't have the issue. And that's the one that typically has um, uh, signals at it uh, right up near the bridge on the um, the southern part of the of the uh, car bridge. There's that one yep. house that always has signals. And then it was the same style of house, but didn't have the issue. So who knows? I don't know. Um, but yeah, there we go. So they that's uh, they fixed that bug. So that's nice. Uh, you won't have the weird invisible houses, semi semi invisible houses anymore. And I think last to mention is oh no, we already mentioned it. Yeah, we've already mentioned the Xbox um, Ultimate oh, perk because yeah, we, we mentioned it during the uh, during yeah. thing. I don't think there's anything yeah. to say about it because we don't know much about it right now. Is there? No. Nope. Yeah. It'll be a surprise once it it comes out. They'll typically yeah. announce it on the various socials and stuff, and you'll see it on Xbox as well. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it's honestly it, it's going to be a tough season, I think, uh, for a lot of Outlanders. Um, one because uh, there's not a whole lot of new content. It's like yeah, we have a battle pass with some new outfits that honestly yep. they are pretty good looking outfits. Uh, but at the same time, it's like there's literally just a melee weapon, which honestly, like a lot of people don't uh, use melee we weapons. Um, and I understand like. Honestly, like, there's so many guns in the game that is like, like do we need more weapons? But uh, at the same time, it's like, you know, someone who's newer that may not have like the whole stock pile of crafting plans is yep. like an opportunity lost at acquiring a weapon plan through a battle pass. Um, mm -hmm. But, uh, and, and also the, again, the increase of 5.94% compared to last season, which season 18. Like the increase was eighteen point six percent, eighteen point zero six percent, I think. Oh like, wow! I didn't it, even it, realize it was that much. It was like it's just wild. Like I don't, I don't understand. Like you should have so many people. Like not everyone has to finish the battle pass, but you should have a good portion of your player base be able to somewhat complete the the battle pass. Like let's say 70 percent without having to pay money to buy levels or you know mm -hmm. you know buy a battle pass with 25 levels included like to, to me yeah. it's just wild that you know this is a thing um because because it's like and then you think about like the the booster tickets right the booster tickets uh for double xp like it only applies to the game mode it doesn't apply to like for crates like double xp uh events is like how many double xp events are we going to actually get this season who knows? We had two yeah. last season. I, I don't know. Like, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm curious. I, I, oh, I believe they did mention in the newsletter though. Uh, at the end of the month, we're supposed to have one, uh, a double XP event. But so I'll be uh, right at the you know first couple of weeks of the uh, season then. Yeah, uh, I think it's like yeah. the Canadian long weekend. But uh, anyways, it, it's it's like oh. how how many of these double XP events are there going to be this season? especially with the massive increase of xp like it, it's i i i'm not gonna lie like i'm all for pc and stuff like that but like i i'm i'm concerned about our console uh friends yeah uh, well yeah I, part of yeah yeah same because i i do plan on i'm definitely gonna be trying it on pc 
Um, but you know, Xbox is always my first uh, console, and uh, I could see that you know, there's always a big drop off. You know, when a season comes out, you know, you get people back for a bit, and you know, then everything's you know, the lobbies are pretty big for a while, but then there's definitely a drop off um, in the middle, and then usually near the end of the season, it picks up a little bit more again. Um, I, I wonder if that's that drop off is going to happen a bit earlier this season just because people may not be sticking around for as long. Um, yeah. With I, this, I'm, with this pass, it's hard to say. Yeah. It, it, it's tough. Like, you know, obviously like they're, they're going to get revenue from like the, the PC early access. But yeah. It, it's like when it comes to console, I'm, I'm, I'm concerned about the, the player base. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be an interesting season. So we won't know until we know. So, um, We'll see, we'll see how it comes, but uh, yeah, there we go. This is going to be uh, season um, nineteen deception. Yep, uh, it'd, it'd be interesting to see if there's any kind of lore coming. With, there, there, what I know there's not going to be Laura's in, but I'd like if there's deception really like implies something. So I'm really curious. Yeah. If, you know, if they say anything about it. Yeah, I, I, yeah, um, I don't know, and uh, like yeah. honestly, uh, and another thing to we should have noted at the start, uh, this is a preview mm. build, so things yeah. may change. Um, but there's always uh, a chance. Also, yeah, there, there's some things that you know I probably ha- haven't found type thing. So, um, you know, keep an eye out uh for other partner material or, uh, you know, when the season's dropping in like four days like uh wednesday 15th i believe um so it you know keep, keep an eye yeah out when and... this comes out we're this is going to be out a bit early yeah, when you're seeing this it's it's earlier than our normal release dates because obviously it's a whole week earlier but it's also be maybe a couple of days earlier because yeah. you know if we get this out as early as possible when you're seeing this that's when it is <laughs> so yeah. but it's yeah um we figure get it out now quickly so people can uh, check it out yep. um but there we go all right so thanks again uh for watching and coming back uh please like share and subscribe leave a comment down below we do appreciate it and uh yeah deception so i'm dr anton i'm dj spencer and uh until next time stay safe in the outlands have a great night Bye. bye
Flame, flame up your dream. Flame up your.